Hi folks, I'm Davin from Brubix.com. Behind the camera we've got James. Say hello James. <laughs> right, I thought we would show you this fantastic homebrew kit. Uh, it's got all of the equipment you need to be able to make your own, brew, uh, your own beer from kits at home. It's from Milestones and Milestones brew uh, or make lots of different kits for you. The one that's in this kit is Lion's Pride. Absolutely fantastic beer to get you going but they do loads and loads of others as well. So once you first made this one, try some of the others. Fantastic beers. So let's show you what actually comes in the box. Sure. So, what's in the box? In here, we let's start off with, oh, there you dropped it, your lid. Uh, we've got your pressure barrel. This is for putting your beer into once it's finished fermenting. Uh, We've got um, a box of some other bits and bobs. One of the most important bits, your beer kit, your Lion's Pride from Milestone beer kit. Absolutely bloody lovely beer. Uh, okay, we've got a beer paddle. This is for stirring and aerating our beer. Uh, we've got this little funny contraption. I'm hoping that in that box is going to be a, the rest of the siphon. We've got your big brewing bucket to get everything fermenting in, put all your ingredients in and everything like that. Right, let's get rid of the big box for a moment. And then the little box then. Ah yes, we've got the rest of your tube for your siphon. We've got, uh, oh, it goes that way, a hydrometer. Now this is for testing how much sugar you've got in your beer and telling you when your beer is actually finished fermenting. And that's all your, your uh, instructions. And your instructions on how to use the hydrometer are in this little bit of paper just inside the tube. We've got a box of carbon dioxide capsules. Here you go. This is for injecting extra carbon dioxide into our pressure barrel for when the flow gets a bit low. Um, ooh, let's go with that one first of all because this is the contraption that you put your carbon dioxide cartridge into and then screw it down into the cap to inject your carbon dioxide. We've got a tub of sterilizer it's really, really important that you sterilize all of your kit before you get any beer in contact with it. Um, okay, we've got a little bag of tricks. Ugh. Okay, so this is your lid to go on your pressure barrel. And you've got a little seal here and your little seal pops in there. Okay, and then that'll screw on the top nice and easy. You've got a tap, and there's a washer on the, or a nut on the back of the tap. And the way you fit this, I'll show you how you fit it. Oh. Come on down here, James, follow me. So we need to put our hand inside. The tap goes in. Note where I've got the rubber washer, it's on the outside of the barrel. And on the inside, James might not be able to show you this, but my hand is in there, and all I'm doing is basically putting the nut on the back of the tap. And you do it so it's nice and tight. I tend to do it this way, holding the nut in the back until it gets most of the way in. And then all you're doing is hand tight, and your tap turns on and off. Okay, we've also got this other little thing. This is called a float, and this part of it floats up and down. With the beer, it sits literally on top of the beer. And this little bit here pushes into the back of the tap. That means you're always taking the beer from the top and as the beer gradually gets further and further down, you're still able to get it out of the tap. And all you do, pop it in and pop it into the back of the tap nice and firmly. It's as easy as that. Um, right, so, oh, there is a little bit more information here. This is a little bit more about Milestones, this is your instructions for your beer kits and the other beer kits they make as well. So all you're left to do now is get your Milestones beer kit, open up the cans inside of here, 
I know what's inside this box. I've made enough milestone beer kits to know what's inside. We've got your beer making instructions, we've got your yeast, and we've got two tins of lovely Lion's Pride malt extract. And all you do with that is you pour them into the bottom of the barrel, you add on six pints of boiling water, which is all in your instructions. Once you've done that, you um, ferment it up, add your yeast, ferment it up for about a week or so in a nice warm cupboard at about 20 degrees. Ooh. Ah, ah, that's handy. This gets on the side of your sticks on the side of your bucket. Um, this is the thermometer and you can basically make sure it stays at about 20 degrees. About 20 degrees for a week, and then you use your siphon to siphon it into your barrel. You put a bit of priming sugar in there, you find all that out in the instructions, you put it back in your warm cupboard for a couple of days to do a secondary fermentation, and then you pop it somewhere cool for about a week, if you can resist, ideally a month, and then pop the tap, and you'll be drinking pints and pints and pints. About 40 of London Pride. It's lovely stuff. Enjoy it!